to work with our nation's young people. So I'm proud today to speak on behalf of Justice Graves. I urge my colleagues to vote in support of his nomination to the Fifth Circuit. And I suggest the absence of a quorum. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka. Mr. President, Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that the order for the quorum be rescinded. Without objection. 
Mr. President, I am pleased to support the nomination of Justice James E. Graves, Jr. to serve as a judge on the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit. At this time, Justice Graves is serving as a presiding justice on the Mississippi Supreme Court. He was appointed to our state's highest court in 2001, and he was elected to the court in 2004. Prior to that, he served as a trial court judge for 10 years. Justice Graves has earned impressive academic credentials, including an undergraduate degree from Millsaps College, a law degree from Syracuse University College of Law, and a master's degree of public administration from Syracuse University. Justice Graves has served as a director of the Child Support Division of the Mississippi Department of Human Services. Mr. President, it is with pride and pleasure that I am able to recommend to the Senate the confirmation of Justice James E. Graves, Jr. I suggest the absence of a quorum. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka. The Senator from Iowa. I ask that the calling of the quorum be suspended. Without objection. Today, the Senate will confirm two more of President Obama's judicial nominees. 
With this action, we're filling two seats which have been declared judicial emergencies. I'm pleased that we're moving forward with these very important nominations and filling these vacancies. I agree with the chairman's recent editorial and remarks that he has made that we have an opportunity to turn a page and work together in a spirit of bipartisanship and civility. I do not view it as a productive effort to continue with finger pointing and the negative back and forth regarding previous pace or outcome of judicial nominations. Unfortunately, that rhetoric has frequently overshadowed the debate of the qualifications of particular nominees. I and my Republican colleagues have been very cooperative in taking action on President's nominees. During this Congress, the President has nominated 50 individuals to the federal judiciary. This Congress has been in session for approximately one month. In this brief time, we have taken positive action in one form or another on nearly half of these nominees. With today's vote, we will have confirmed five nominees. And of course, this is cooperation, and if it's not, I don't know what is. Furthermore, we've seen a high level of bipartisanship with regard to President Obama's confirmed nominees. For President Obama's confirmed district judge nominees, 94% of those confirmations were by unanimous votes. Only 59% of President Bush's confirmed district court nominees were afforded the same level of bipartisanship. So I think it is fair to say that we are cooperating in a bipartisan manner and in a deliberate pace. I'm working with the chairman to ensure nominees are afforded a fair but thorough process in a timely manner. I have appreciated the chairman's courtesies as we have worked together to set schedules and agendas. And as we do so, I assure my colleagues that I will not falter in ensuring each nominee is properly and thoroughly evaluated. We're acting to reduce the judicial vacancy rate. There are currently 99 vacancies in the federal courts. However, it is remarkable to me that more than half of these vacancies, 52, have yet to receive a nomination. Further, 25 of the 46 deemed to be judicial emergencies do not have nominees. It is unfair to blame Republicans for any delays with these vacancies. It is impossible to fill seats when a nominee has not been named. It is the responsibility of the President to send to the Senate consensus nominees for these positions. I'd like to say a few words about nominees who are scheduled to have votes today. I thank our leadership for the reasonable arrangements that was reached to consider the nominations. Justice James E. Grays has been nominated to be circuit judge for the Fifth Circuit. He has received his BA from Millsap College, his JD and MPA from Syracuse University. Justice Graves comes to the federal branch with extensive experience in the legal field. He was a staff attorney for the Central Mississippi Legal Services for three years before moving into private practice. Justice Graves also spent time first as a consul, then as chief legal consul in the office of the Mississippi Attorney General. Justice Graves left the office of Attorney General to become director of the Mississippi Department of Human Services Child Support Enforcement Division. Justice Graves also has considerable judicial experience. He was appointed to the Mississippi Circuit Court judge uh, in 1991 and was reelected twice. Since 2001, Justice Graves has served on the Mississippi Supreme Court and has authored 151 majority opinions for the court and 92 concurring or dissenting opinions. The American Bar Association Standing Committee on the Federal Judiciary unanimously rated him qualified. I also support the nominee, Judge Edward Davila, to a U.S. District Judge for Northern District of California. With today's votes, we will have confirmed seven of President Obama's nominees to the District Courts of California. Judge Davila received his B.A. from California State University, San Diego, and his J.D. 
from University of California Hastings College of Law. A majority of the American Bar Standing Committee on the Federal Judiciary rated him qualified. Judge Davila began his career at Santa Clara County Public Defender before entering private practice. He represented criminal defendants in state and federal courts. In August of 2001, then Governor Gray Davis appointed Judge Davila to the Superior Court of California, County of Santa Clara, a trial court of general jurisdiction. Judge Davila was reelected without opposition twice. Mr. President, we're making good progress in consider, considering judicial nominations, and I'm pleased the Chairman and I have been able to move forward. We're filling judicial vacancies with a particular focus on judicial emergencies. We're working in a manner that treats each nominee in a fair manner and permits each senator to thoroughly review the qualifications of each nominee. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor. I Clerk will call the roll. Yeah. Mr. Hickok.
Is that the senator from Vermont? The president has consent to call the quorum be dispensed with? Without objection. Uh, Mr. President, uh, we are prepared to yield back any time on this side. And I understand from my Republican colleagues they yield back on their time. And I don't believe it in uh, parliamentary inquiries the first uh, nomination, the Graves nomination. Yes, Senator. That is correct. And it's my understanding that there is not a request for a roll call on that one. If all time is yielded back, the question, the question is on the Graves nomination. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The nomination is confirmed. Move to reconsider. Move lay on the table. Without objection. The question is now on the Davila nomination. Do I roll call on that one? Sir, uh, Mr. President, there has been a request for a roll call on that, and I'd ask for yeas and nays. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be a sufficient second. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka, Mr. Alexander, Ms. Ayat, Mr. Barrasso, Mr. Balkis, Mr. Begich, Mr. Bennett, Mr. Bingaman, Mr. Blumenthal, Mr. Blunt, Mr. Bozeman, Mr. Mrs. Boxer, Mr. Brown of Massachusetts, Mr. Brown of Ohio, Mr. Burr, Ms. Cantwell, Mr. Carden, Mr. Carper, Mr. Casey, Mr. Chambliss, Mr. Coates, Mr. Coburn, Mr. Cochran, Ms. Collins, Mr. Conrad, Mr. Coons. Mr. Corker. Mr. Cornyn, Mr. Crapo, Mr. Dement, Mr. Durbin, Mr. Ensign. Mr. Enzi, Mrs. Feinstein, Mr. Franken, Mrs. Gillibrand, Mr. Graham, Mr. 
Mr. Grassley. Mrs. Hagan. Mr. Harkin. Mr. Hatch. Mr. Holman. Mrs. Hutchison. Mr. Inhofe. Mr. Inouye. Mr. Isaacson. Mr. Johans. Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin. Mr. Johnson of South Dakota. Mr. Carey. Mr. Kirk. Ms. Klobuchar. Mr. Cole. Mr. Kyle. Ms. Landrew. Mr. Lautenberg. Mr. Leahy. Mr. Lee. Mr. Levin. Mr. Lieberman. Mr. Luger. Mr. Manchin. Mr. McCain. Mrs. McCaskill. Mr. McConnell. Mr. Menendez. Mr. Merkley. Ms. Mikulski. Mr. Moran. Ms. Markowski. Mrs. Murray. Mr. Nelson of Nebraska. Mr. Nelson of Florida. Mr. Paul. Mr. Portman. Mr. Pryor. Mr. Reed of Rhode Island. Mr. 
Mr. Reed of Nevada. Mr. Risch. Mr. Roberts. Mr. Rockefeller. Mr. Rubio. Mr. Sanders. Mr. Schumer. Mr. Sessions. Mr. Shaheen. Mr. Shelby. Ms. Snow. Ms. Dabino. Mr. Tester. Mr. Thune. Mr. Toomey. Mr. Udall of Colorado. Mr. Udall of New Mexico. Mr. Vitter. Mr. Warner. Mr. Webb. Mr. Whitehouse. Mr. Wicker. Mr. Wyden. Senators voting in the affirmative. Alexander, Ayat, Barrasso, Blumenthal, Boxer, Brown of Massachusetts, Brown of Ohio, Burr, Cardin, Coburn, Cochran, Collins, Conrad, Coons, Corker, Cornyn, Crapo, Anson, Grassley, Hatch, Hutchison, Isaacson, Johans, Johnson of Wisconsin, Johnson of South Dakota, Kirk, Klobuchar, Kyle, Landrew, Lee, Luger, Manchin, McConnell, Murkowski, Hall, Risch, Roberts, Rubio, Sanders, Shelby, Webb, Wicker. Mr. Vitter, Mr. Vitter. Aye. Mr. Hoven, Mr. Hoven, aye. Mr. Bozeman, Mr. Bozeman, aye. Mr. Inouye, Mr. Inouye, aye. Mr. Thune, Mr. Thune, aye. Mr. Bingaman, Mr. Bingaman, aye. Mr. Toomey, Mr. Toomey, 
Aye. Mr. Moran. Mr. Moran. Aye. Mr. Leahy. Mr. Leahy. Aye. Mr. Alexander. Mr. Alexander. Aye. Mr. McCain. Mr. McCain. Aye. Mr. Akaka, Mr. Akaka, aye. Mr. Harkin, Mr. Harkin, aye. Mr. Casey, Mr. Casey, aye. Mrs. Gillibrand, Mrs. Gillibrand, aye. Mr. Nelson of Nebraska, Mr. Nelson of Nebraska, aye. Mr. Coates, Mr. Coates, aye. Mr. Wyden, Mr. Wyden, aye. Mr. Udall of Colorado, Mr. Udall of Colorado, aye. Mr. Merkley, Mr. Merkley, aye. Mr. Reed, Rhode Island, Mr. Reed of Rhode Island, Aye. Mr. Franken. Mr. Franken. Aye. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett. Aye. Mr. Rockefeller, Mr. Rockefeller, aye. Ms. Snow, Ms. Snow, aye. Mr. Enzi, Mr. Enzi, aye. Mrs. Feinstein, Mrs. Feinstein, aye. Mr. Lieberman, Mr. Lieberman, aye. Mrs. Hagen, Mrs. Hagen, aye.
Mr. Cole. Mr. Cole. Aye. Mr. Portman, Mr. Portman, aye. Ms. Cantwell, Ms. Cantwell, aye. Mr. Sessions, Mr. Sessions, aye. Mrs. McCaskill, Mrs. McCaskill, Aye. Mr. Warner, Mr. Warner. Aye. Mr. Carper, Mr. Carper. Aye. Mrs. Shaheen, Mrs. Shaheen. Aye. Mr. Inhoff, Mr. Inhoff. Aye. Mr. Menendez. Mr. Menendez. Aye. Mr. Chester. Mr. Chester. Aye. Mrs. Murray. Mrs. Murray. Aye. Mr. Levin. Mr. Levin. Aye. Mr. Durbin. Mr. Durbin. Aye. Mr. Baucus. Mr. Baucus. Aye. Mr. Reed of Nevada. Mr. Reed of Nevada. Aye. Mr. Lautenberg, Mr. Lautenberg, aye. Mr. Begich, Mr. Begich, aye. Ms. Stabenow, Ms. Stabenow, aye. Mr. Nelson of Florida, Mr. Nelson of Florida, aye. Mr. Schumer, Mr. Schumer, aye.
Mr. Chambliss. Mr. Chambliss, aye. Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Whitehouse, aye.
Now, are there any senators uh, in the chamber that uh, wish to vote or change their vote? If not, on this vote, the yeas are 93, the nays are zero. Nomination is confirmed. Under the previous order, the motion to reconsider is considered made and laid upon the table. The President will be immediately notified of the Senate's actions, and the Senate will resume legislative session. Mr. President.